What's going on YouTube? TK back with another video. So today I'm gonna go over the Pokemon that I think are gonna be the most fun to terrestrialize in the early Scarlet and Violet metagame. I already got some plans, I already got some offensive threats. I'm uh, I'm a considering, but I think these Pokemon you'll see like the most, uh, when, at least in the early metagame, and then people will kind of figure out how to use it, blah, blah, blah. But this is what I think. This is all my opinion or whatever, but first is Gyarados. I think Gyarados are gonna be the best grass type in the game. Yes, sir. You like, let's say you, uh, let's see, what's, what's the item? We'll just use grassy seed. This is, this is him turning into a grass type, okay? Gyarados is weak to electricity. Four times weak to electricity, weak to rock, right? Remember, Gyarados gets power whip. 120 base power grass move. You don't even have to run Terra Blast, bro. You could just, you could just, you could run an item like Lumberry or something on him. Remember, Gyarados gets Dragon Dance. You do like, you know, earthquake. He could terrestrialize to a ground type too to cover his electro weakness. This thing is gonna be a threat. You know, so you can run like a moveset like this, or you can do like, you know, you could take away Dragon Dance for like protect, and then do like waterfall. Or you could, you know, Gyarados. What Gyarados lacks um, as a physical attacker, even though he's a flying type, is flying moves. You could actually do uh, the the new Terrestrial Power or whatever, or whatever Terra Blast, and you could just Terrestrialize him into a into a flying type if you want. Still have that that lightning weakness, but I feel like Gyarados is either gonna be Terrestrializing into a into a ground type or a grass type. Cause you're gonna cover his electro weakness, and then people are gonna have that mind game. It was like, okay, Gyarados is on the board. Remember, Gyarados gets intimidated and he gets Moxie. Very good. He's gonna be very good in the early meta because he's gonna be a mind game. Your opponent's gotta think, okay, is he gonna terrestrialize to a grass type to cover his electro weakness, or is he not gonna terrestrialize at all? And then, like, I'm gonna like it's it's such a big mind game because you can change your defensive typing and also gain stab on like a powerful move like Power Whip. So Gyarados by himself in Scarlet Violet is gonna be a crazy grass type Pokemon. Just because he's gonna have so many different like styles, right? He could be an intimidator, he could be a moxie, a uh, sweeper, uh, you know, wall breaker. He could run, like, he could be like Dragon Dance. You can run redirection with him on his like. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a crazy mind game. So, it, Gyarados gonna be crazy. Porygon. I don't think Porygon Z was announced yet, but I just know Porygon Z has adaptability. Well, if you combine that with terrestrialization, you get the adaptability boost. Um, like usually with terrestrialize, what happens is. If you terrestrialize to the same type you already are, you gain you gain basically an, an adaptability boost. But since Porygon has adaptability, you're gonna gain that boost no matter what type you have, or, or no matter what type you change it to. So this thing, remember, this thing has a special attack stat of 135, and it has it has a good speed tier. It's, it's 90 speed. So this thing is power, bro. I remember when uh I think one of the series in Sword and Shield, you've seen this thing a lot. It was like. It, uh, I see, I remember one team was 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 showing out on the ladder. It was like they were running Clefairy for like follow me and friend guard, and then they was running Porygon. They Dynamax Porygon Z, and it was just max striking, lowering speed, and was stab with that ability max strikes. Well, now you got to wrestleize, and if they allow Porygon Z into the game, that's power, bro. Like you get basically, you're basically gonna get that ability on any typing that you to wrestleize into. So it's scary stuff man if they allow i don't think they announced poor guys yet but i just think because of its stats and adaptability in a, in a regional decks this thing would be super powerful with with the new mechanics so um scissor i think scissor would be good just because you could do like scissor is only weak to fire because bugs steal but let's say you know a fire type move is coming right you could just terrestrialize into a steel type right and then you might be able to survive that fire move now that you're uh <laughs> Now that you're only two times weak to it, because Scizor is pretty bulky, like 180, 70. And he got a little bulk, right? Um, but then if you terrestrial on a steel type, remember you have technician um boosted bullet punches. So he'll get an adaptability boost on his bullet punches in a technician boost, right? So if you terrestrial scissor into a steel type, he's like he's weak to more things. But if you see like a certain move coming, you can position it scissor in a more defensive way and you'll you'll still get like you'll get stronger bullet punches because you'll get the adaptability. You'll get the terrestrialized boost uh, for the bullet punches as well. So I think scissors are is a candidate, right? Where they be running like what the what them scissors be will be. They if they ain't choice band, they be right, they be like uh I don't know, what's that like life orb, like something basic like that. Like life orb or choice band, they run like U-turn, and then like now he, he now he gets dual wing beat, right? So you, I mean, you can run like Aerial Ace, but I think dual, I think dual wing, Aerial Ace gets the technician boost too, but dual wing being is stronger. It just has a high, it's just, you know, since it's two hits, two hits of 40, but dual wing B has a, has a, you know, 
90% accuracy in a turn-based game that really means 50-50 flipping a coin, right? So, but yeah, something like that. But you know, Terrestrial to a steel type or Terrestrial to a fire type, whatever. But I, I think Scizor could be a good offensive candidate. Torco, man. Torco is gonna be crazy. You gonna be seeing the you gonna be seeing the flash fire bonds all over the ladder, bro, or something that could deal with Torco. Or like it'll be weather setters. You gotta you gotta you gotta be ready for your weather pivots when you see Torco. Because Torco, if Trick Room is up, bro, and the sun is out, and he's running this set, you got Torco running like eruption. What did they run? They, what did they usually run? Like eruption, yawn, protect, and like earth power or something, or something along those lines. This is usually like the standard, like Torco said. I mean, they sometimes they run like body press, right? But nine times out of ten, you're gonna see something like this. No, I, what I what they usually do is this. They sometimes they don't run earth power. They run like heat wave, it's just like straight fire moves, and then like just fire power, right? Because he Torco sets the sun. So like what they do is run like an offensive build like this, right? So this is the usual build that you see on Torco. So it's it's just power, bro. That 85 special attack uh, stat doesn't matter. Like Torco is gonna be sunny, so his fire attacks are gonna be double. Eruption is 150 base power as long as he's at max HP. You'll be in trick room, so you're going first. And then it's stab plus charcoal. And then if you terrestrialize into a fire type, if you terrestrialize to a fire type, the boost to fire moves, and then eruption hits hits both opponents on the field. So in VGC, if you could position yourself well on the board and you terrestrialize Torco and and the sun is out, he's killing everything, man. He's he's erupting on everything. Everything's dying. This this thing is this thing is power. So the opponent has to, you know, pivot in certain mods like Tyranitar or something, change the weather and then Tyranitar gets a special defense boot from the sand, things like that. Or you got flash fire, something like that. You need to be absorbing these hits because even if he terrestrializes and the sun is out, it doesn't matter if he hits something that's like it's not very effective. It's it's gonna it's basically he's gonna wall break, bro. He's gonna like he's gonna like tear through you. With, it's just too much power. So Torco is gonna be a, a prime trick room terrestrialized cannon. I can already see it. Hydreigon, I, I think Hydreigon's good just because he's so flexible. He has a, like a really good move pool. So like um, so what? Like Draco Meteor, he can run like Flamethrower. Doesn't get like Thunderbolt. He's a dragon. No, he doesn't get Thunderbolt. What else does he get? Like Flash Kid. What's the usual uh, Hydreigon? You got like Earth Power, right? Hydreigon would be good to rest lives. I think Hydreigon is going to be a pretty flexible candidate because remember, he could do like sometimes a lot of sometimes a lot of these mom, like I'm thinking like Gyarados, like you don't even need to run the new Terra Blast move. Like if you're going to Dynamax Gyarados into it, like let's say an electric move is coming, right? Gyarados terrestrializes into a into a grass type. And then you don't need to run Terra Blast. He already gets Power Whip. You got a 120 base power grass move that he gets stab on because he terrestrializes into a grass type and you're blocking the electric move. So um, a lot of these Pokemon, you don't need to run Terra Blast on depending on uh, depending on their move pool and depending on what they... That's how I see it anyway, depending on how they... Uh, what typing they're going to terrestrialize because they might have a move that that might be higher base. we don't know the base power of terra blast yet but i'm assuming it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be some crazy power it'll probably be like 70 80 something like that maybe a 60 i don't know we don't really know yet but i feel like some of them some of them some of the mods you plan on terrestrializing you don't need to run that move depending on their move pool and i think gyarados is one of them hydrogen might be another one depending on the base power of the terra blast but um you know hydrogen he already gets levitate so you get terrestrialize him into into um you know like a fire type flamethrower or whatever fire blast whatever you want to do depending on what your team looking like how much rng you willing to take you know <laughs> things like that but i think he'll be a he'll be a pretty good pretty good candidate just because of his move pool and his stats right tyranitar another one tyranitar probably i know we've seen the ghost type in the trailer but tyranitar is always used in regional decks because he, i mean he's usually the, the main uh, uh sand setter and the tyranitar is really good stat Rock Dark has a lot of weak. Tyranitar actually has a lot of weaknesses, but his bulk in the sand makes up for those weaknesses a lot. And remember, he's he's set in weather. He set weather, so that already give, that already brings value to the meta. So you'll see Tyranitar a lot, and he might he you know Tyranitar can he could do some stuff. He might be you know he might change to the Ghost type. He could he's a prime candidate just because of his defensive weaknesses. Like if you don't change to a Rock type though, he's gonna lose that Sand Streams for Death Boost. But it's gonna be like a mind game, and Tyranitar still has the good base stats, right? Look at his base stats. Bulky, he's just slow, super bulky, super strong. So if you can terrestrialize him into a type in that benefits the board, you know, he go he, he can do some stuff. You know what I'm saying? He he really got a he got a good move pool, man. You know, 
Tyranitar, usually you see stuff like this, you know, like Rock Slide, Crunch, you know. But Tyranitar can do that special route, you know what I'm saying? He got a good move pool, bro. Thunderbolt. Tyranitar is a pseudo legendary man. Don't sleep on this man. He got all kinds of moves, you know. So he'll be a he'll be a good he'll be a good candidate. Horyama has has really good like remember Horyama gets guts right. So like, you run like Flame Orb right. And remember Horyama is a fake out use. I can't wait to use Horyama again. Jesus, I love this thing. But he's a, he is a fake out mom right. So he he's a guts user. He has a good Horyama has really good bulk. His it's. It's lackluster defense, especially defense, but his HP is so high he can take hits, right? And you know, you could do you can run like the thick fat where he's taking like less damage from fire ice. But let's say you use him for the terrestrialize, right? You run him like a trick room team or something, or you just using him for his fake out pressure. <laughs> I don't know. You can run like guts flame orb, and then you know, he, he does get bullet punch as a um as an egg move. I think he learns he learns it from one of the fighting type uh lines, Lucario or something. I can't really remember, but uh he does, I mean, he has two priority moves right here, and he has fake out pressure. You know, close combat, guts boosted, close combat, terrestrialize. You can terrestrialize to a steel type, or just terrestrialize to a fighting type to get more power on the close combat. Um, what else do they usually run? Like protect or, or like bulk up or something? I don't know, I haven't, bro, I haven't seen Ariyama in the meta game in a long time. But um, yeah, like fake out bullet punch, I think are like staples, right? But he might be a, he might be a candidate for terrestrialize, but I think he's good without it. Um, I just think it depends on your team and what your, you know, how you want to build. Salamence is one of those mods I feel like can, will benefit from Terra just because of the vast move pool. And then, like, obviously, Salamence has really good stats. Salamence can benefit from being, you don't know if it's, a, it could be a special, special attack stat is lower, right? But it's still good. It's still, 110 is still, like, powerful as a special attacker. So Salamence can benefit from being a, being mixed build, special attack build, attack build. It depends on the meta game, right? But um, he's a mod that I think uh, will benefit from. From like terrestrialization he gets intimidate moxie just like just like gyarados right so <laughs> could work as a intimidate pivot or, or you know intimidator or he get like you can work up you can use him as a wall breaker with moxie he, he, he's he's one of the mods that that i think will be good it's gonna be really good in the early meta game um colossal i think because of the way steam engine works uh colossal usually you you know you can you either read your opponent using a water move or fire fire move or you you know Usually what happens if you run a Colossal in Sword and Shield, you run an Aqua Jetter next to him, right? So let's say you're running like Urshifu Water or like uh, Dragonite, Dragonite who, who has inner focus. You run like Dragonite next to Colossal and Dragonite can get access to, to Aqua Jet, right? So the Dragonite will Aqua Jet the Colossal, activate Steam Image, and usually you have like weakness policy. And then he'll gain the weakness policy boost and then he'll gain the steam engine what makes him it makes him it makes him max out his speed so yeah he only has a base speed of 30 but then he'll be plus six once he get hit by aqua jet right so um uh, i don't know how prevalent weakness policy like weakness policy can be used in scarlet and violet like without dynamax but i just think it's it's less prevalent just because when you dyna it's more prevalent in dynamax because dynamax doubles your h your hp right so usually when the colossal is going to get aqua jetted and weakness policy is going to activate he's going to take some he's still four times weak to water so depending on who's aqua jetting him he's going to take a substantial amount of damage it's it's why dynamax is better because dynamax like allows you to take more hits because you double your hp but um without dynamax you're not doubling your hp so maybe you have to terrestrialize him into like like something that can take a water hit in a good way, but then you don't get the weakness policy boost. So I don't know. We'll see how it, we'll see how it works. But weakness policy is still good. Like like certain mods, like Metagross, like Bulldoze or whatever. Like weakness policy is still good. I just think it's worse um, with no Dynamax, but it's still good. You just take more damage, so you got to be more wary of the board with no Dynamax. But we'll see how Colossal does. Gold Duck, I like Gold Duck, man. And I think obviously Pelipper is gonna be the rain setter for the regional decks when the game comes out. So you're gonna see Pelipper Gold Duck together because uh, Gold Duck gets Swift Swim. So you you get you run like Gold Duck, right? And you you terrestrialize him into a water type, even though he is a water type. Remember, when you terrestrialize to the same type, you gave that boost, right? So you're gonna see Gold Duck, you know, like Life Orb or something. You don't even need Life Orb, bro. Just run Mystic Water, <laughs> Mystic Water Gold Duck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or like life orb gold duck and then you you get the you get the 50 percent boost with with pelipper's rain day or uh, uh drizzle right so it's raining he gets swift swim so now he's moving you know what i'm saying he moving 
and then you get the hydro pump which is 110 base power and remember it's raining and then you terrestrialize and then you get and then you get more power bro my man is gonna be wall breaking man my man is gonna be like his base stats don't matter we all know gold ducks base stats are trash but it don't matter bro because his partner his partner in the terrestrialized mechanic is giving him so much juice like and then you terrestrialized it, it's even more icing on the cake. He, it don't matter what's coming in. You switch in the gold and you take the hydro pump in the rain, he killing folk, man. That man's going in, he's wall breaking. It, uh, imagine if gold had a, had, a, had a higher special attack stat. He'd be, he be crazy, man. He'd be crazy. But I think Golduck's gonna be good early. I'm definitely gonna be. Bro, I'm gonna run, if I'm running a rain team in Scarlet Violet, you definitely gonna see Golduck in the arsenal. I don't know if they announced Kingdry yet, but Golduck is gonna be that guy, bro. But. Shedinja, we all know how annoying this is gonna be. What, what are those people talk about? You see all the uh, all the bro, the air balloon to wrestleize into electric type. Ally switch. Is Shedinja in the game? Cause this is gonna be obnoxious, bro. <laughs> you don't know, but Shedinja is still weak to certain things. Like other than like hitting him like with a special like or with a move that's super effective, excuse me. Shedinja can be burned, so burn effect will kill it. Like a residual, a residual damage effect does kill it. Weather can also kill it. A lot of Shedinjas run safety goggles to like hell, hell and sandstorm can can actually kill Shedinja if they're not running safety goggles. Residual effects still work. But if there's no residual like effects like that, like burn or something, you have to hit it with a super effective attack. So I know a lot of people were saying on Twitter, like you run air balloon and turn him into a, <laughs> and turn him into an electric type, and he's like invincible, right? And then your opponent has to guess ally switch, right? Which is which is obnoxious. It's super annoying, but there's still other ways to prepare for it, right? There's other ways to kill him. But yeah, that that is super annoying if you're not prepared. He'll just it, like he'll just be this invincible, like he'll just be shuffling, and you have to guess ally switch, and you have to guess what type he's gonna be. So it's annoying, but he he'll be a good he'll be a good candidate. That's all I really have for this video. Um, they're probably, you know, this is just my speculation who I think is gonna be, who you'll see in the early meta game, terrestrializing or whatever, but uh, this is who I think I'm gonna be using at the start. All the all the things I have in mind, especially like Gyarados and Golduck for fun. I, I love Golduck. I just, I just think it's funny that he, you know, if there's like, he has Swift Swim and then like terrestrialized to a water type, like just, you just hydro pumping fools with the gold duck, you know, like, I just think that's funny. So I'm, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using a, like a mixture of these models when the game first came out. So I'm super excited, but um, yeah, tell me who y'all are excited to terrestrialize or whatever in the comments below. But anyway, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Peace.